happy Monday, everyone. I always just, I just, I get to this point and I go, oh my gosh, it's Monday again already. <laughs> I had such a great productive week last week. Um, I had the professional organizer here, as you guys saw in yesterday's video. So feeling really good about how much we got done with that. And then um, yesterday, for the first time in my 50 something years, <laughs> I hired a house cleaner. And it's something that I have always wanted to do, but always felt guilty doing. And I just said, you know what, I, I, it's just not something I'm ever going to fit into my schedule. And the time where I am doing house cleaning chores, I could be listing or I could be filming or, you know, doing something that actually makes it possible for me to earn the money to pay for the cleaning lady. So I, I found the most amazing cleaning lady. I mean, I was just, I was thrilled with the work she did and working around, you know, my clutter still, I still have boxes I'm unpacking. I still have, you know, things on the floor that have to go here and have to go there. And she's like, don't worry about it. I can work around all of it. And she worked around all of it and uh, she's going to come every two weeks, you know, so no more fighting with my kids about who's going to scrub toilets and, Who's going to, you know, clean out the fridge or like whatever, like all of that stuff now is off the chore plate. Now, I mean, they still have to do taking out the trash and the dishes and the everyday stuff, of course, but um, no more fighting about who's going to help with all the, the heavy cleaning. So I just did it and it feels really good. It felt so good. Like I went down to the market while she was still here, the vintage market was this past weekend. And, um, when I walked back in the house, it was just like, Oh, <laughs> it was so nice to come home to a clean house. I can't even tell you. Okay. Right. Bougie. Right. Baby bird. That's right. Okay. Bougie's getting very vocal. Um, so yeah, so, um, did all that and just getting stuff rocking and rolling. I've got a new uh, lady who started this morning. Carrie's down there as we speak, teaching her a little shipping. And I filmed a bit of me doing some shipping training. So I'm uh, figuring out where to put that and how to do that. But uh, stay tuned. There's going to be more of that kind of uh, video coming soon too. This channel. I was going to say to a channel near you, but it's this channel. So there's that. Right? Right, Janice? It's, it's an amazing amount of stress gone. And you, you guys all know I'm having, I'm having a birthday party. And I'm like, I'm just thinking like this, this month is going to go so fast. Like I, so I, there's so many things I want to get done in time for that party, but she's going to come on the 18th. So I don't have to worry about cleaning the house. She will be here to clean the house on that day. And then she's like, well, do you need me to help with anything else for the party? So she's going to actually help me set up for my birthday party, which is pretty awesome too. So yay. Oh, did you, yeah, I just peanuts went across the floor. Yep. Yep. So yeah. Yeah. And the aquarium's going to be all fully stocked with fishies by then and Yay, yay, yay. I'm not having guests on today. Uh, today, we are going to do some listing together. Because like I said, I need to get my eBay store back up and running. So I have a couple of things I'm going to list live. Um, we're going to do the research. We're going to do the listing. I'll start to, and I'm going to make them live. And, uh, and I'm go I do my listings. You know, this is, this is my hour right now. It's my hour and you, you need to be quiet. It's not your show. It's not. Okay. Do we have an agreement? Probably not. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm going to, I'm going to show you how I list and list perfectly and then cross post those items out to 
Etsy, and Poshmark. I'm not doing Mar Mercari or Facebook Marketplace right now. Those are two other places you can um, utilize cross-posting, this kind of stuff. But I, I'm not... Marketplace has me a little befuddled. And truth be known, I'm not super happy with the direction that Marketplace went. I understand it. It's, again, a brilliant business move for them. Not so good for us that we're shopping on Marketplace and looking, you know, for local things and that. It's really hard to find the local stuff. Is watching Get Ship Done a requirement to be hired at your shipper? Well, they watch Get Ship Done, like, <laughs> right, right there, the, the live demo. Um, no, but it does help get a job with me if you actually... Um, have watched my content and know what I do, you know, because then you know the kind of things I'm buying and you see what's going on. So it does help if somebody watches my channel, for sure. It'll be bougie so show soon. Yeah, bougie could get moved to another cage during... Actually, my goal is that once bougie uh, knows to stay put, like on my shoulder or something, or on her like play yard she can be out during the show but until we get to that point she cannot i know yes she loves you know she usually doesn't get that vocal unless i leave the room which is interesting that she's like firing up but i did give her a treat right before the show i gave her uh, a banana chip so i think she's looking for more handouts is what she's doing <laughs> see she says, yes, that's what I'm doing. That's right. All right. Um, so, yeah, so lots of stuff going on. And I will be, of course, going to Goodwill and all that this week. I'm going to try. Now, I told you guys last week I was going to do the retail sourcing. But I'm just not sure this is a good week to do that. Because I want it to be regular sourcing, not Black Friday pricing. You know what I mean? To make it like a reality that you can use. I can make a video, sure. But I always worry about, I don't want to make a video for making a video sick. I, I, I want to make a video that can help you. And if I, if things are like artificial, not artificial, because I mean the, the, the pricing is what it is. But Black Friday pricing that stores do is not what you're going to find the other 11 months of the of the year or 51 weeks of the year even. So I want to pick a time to go do that when the pricing is realistic of what you're going to see other times of the year. So that's kind of my that's kind of my dilemma. You're an hour from Vegas. When is the next vintage market? It's always the third weekend of the month third weekend of the month so we will be there uh december 17th 18th and 19th yes i hope list perfectly is getting cherished and i keep fighting and you know what if you guys message them about that too that the faster we can get it done because they need to know that like a large portion of their following uh, and their users are going to use that. So you got to keep letting them know there's a lot of sellers who want that. And I don't know. So when they add a marketplace, are we going to have an issue? I hope not. Um, there's something called the API. So it basically, they have to be allowed to tap into the back end of whatever site that they're connecting to, they have to be allowed that access in order to do that cross posting work. And I don't know how difficult Cherish is if Cherish is, Cherish has to be interested in it too. So I don't know if they've worked that out. I know they're working on Canada. I do know they're working on Canada, Melissa. That is, that is on their sites. I have a really exciting announcement about something they are adding as of tomorrow. I got a little sneak peek, uh, and I'm going to share that with you today. It's super exciting. I'll, I'll, I'm definitely going to share that with you. 
Is there a site you can go to to learn how to resale? Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, there's lots of places, you know, you can go to learn to resale. It depends how you learn too. Like I'm a jump in and just do it. I'm a sign up. Let's get going when I start on a new uh, a site. Um, but if you need more of a, you know, need to see how it's done, I do a lot of videos right here, especially like the Monday ones. Um, I'm going to show you today. I'm going to literally list from like from research, the pricing to the actual listing. So um, just stick around and, and watch how I do it. I've also got a Facebook group and there are a lot of experienced sellers there as well as new sellers there. So best place to list art. It's going to depend on the art. Um, I used to say eBay. I mean, I really used to say eBay and I, and I'm, you guys have heard me say this for weeks now that eBay is messing with the collectibles market quite a bit. Um, the confidence for sellers to list their items there is falling, which means there's less things being listed that are of those high, high quality, fine art and antiques collectibles. But then what that means is those buyers are finding other places to go. So I'm going to say um, cherish, you know, for, for artwork, home decor, furniture is like by far the best place. Um, list it on eBay though, because you never know who's going to find it on eBay. And, um, but just watch pricing. And we're going to talk about, I've got a piece today. We're going to have a little pricing discussion and what is happening to the pricing on eBay that I find very uh, discouraging and uh, to the point of uh, a little upsetting. But we're going to talk about that today. How do you decide what to purchase when just getting started in this business? What do you love? I mean, that's my go-to. What do you love or what do you know about? And what do you have access to? Like those are three questions you need to ask. You mean the access is important. Um, if you start off with like a collection that you have and then you can't find any more of that type of thing, that's going to make it difficult to keep selling that kind of thing. Uh, but if you, you know, you have stores that you know you can find more of the same types of stuff, then, then go for it. Yeah. But it's really, I'm all about, if this is going to be, for lack of a better word, a job for you, I feel like you need to really enjoy what you're working with and dealing with. Um, some people don't need that. I need that to stay motivated because if I've got to research and pull it up and all of that, I want to at least be interested in what I'm learning. I don't want it to feel like a grind. Um, so for me, it is about selling things that interest me. You will see me pass up a lot of stuff in the thrift stores because it just doesn't interest me. It, you know, I just, I don't want it hanging around. I don't want to deal with it. And, and the, you know, that's okay. You can be okay with that. I get people actually angry with me in the comments because I didn't pick up this or that. I'm like, I'm sorry. It's not my thing. It's not my thing. And that's what I'm hoping my videos teach you is you can walk by things just because somebody says, you know, hey, you can sell that for big money or whatever. If it's not something you want to sell, walk by it. Otherwise, you will end up with what we call a death pile. That's the things that end up in your death piles, guys, is those things you bought because you know they're worth money. But yeah, you really you don't like listing them or you don't want to list them, or you don't know enough about them, those are the death pile items. So I want you to avoid the death pile. Yeah. Uh, when starting up with List Perfectly, do they use our bank account only, or do they accept PayPal? I pay with PayPal. I 
pay well i might pay with a i might pay with my paypal card anybody who's using paypal get the debit card because there's perks to using that debit card just saying but that's what i use yeah and and as far as read yeah angela you make a good point uh, search for those things you love, select sold, select highest, and then you learn what is selling. Well, not just selling well, but selling for the most money. Yep, yep, yep. Look at the sell through. Yeah, you have to do have to do a little homework. I highly, highly recommend the Rolo printer as well. I love my Rolo. I have two of them. Love my Rolo printer. It is the easiest printer I have ever used. And um if anybody is considering a Rolo, I always appreciate if you would use my link, my code. It's down in the description. But I, I do get a, a little affiliate. It's very little. Um, but, you know, every little bit counts. I'm still bugging them to, like, let me give you something, either a discount or free labels or something in exchange for using my link. But don't know why they won't. Love to buy, terrible at selling. Yeah, that can be a problem. That can be a problem. <laughs> oh, you can't get the debit card in Canada? What? No, that's a bummer. All right. You found out women's shoes are definitely not your thing. Yeah. I don't mind listing shoes. I hate listing clothing. Clothing is not moving. A Rolo printer is a shipping label printer that works off of, like, I, it's not up here or I'd show it to you. It's just, it prints it out using thermal, um, like the thermal imaging. So you never run out of ink. Uh, and it just feeds the pre, what do you call those of you guys? Like the four by six labels through and you peel it and stick it on your package and good to go. Oh my goodness, Tiger found a Miss Frisk cookie jar at a thrift store and their price was higher than eBay sold. Yeesh. Okay, I'm getting way behind on comment. Oh no, I'm not. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm trying not to miss anything. I will try to answer your eBay question. Yep. As long as it's not too involved. Yeah, the roll is a couple hundred dollars couple hundred dollars but it's worth think about this though think about this especially if you're going into this and you plan on selling <clears throat> let's even say you plan on selling I don't know 20 items a month which is really low you can do way more than that think about the paper and the ink in, in on the regular printer that you have to print out over time that adds up, right? Over time, that Rolo pays for itself because you're not having to buy that ink. That ink is $50, $60 a cartridge, and I think you can get you can get about 2,000, I think, printings out of a thing of ink. That's a really rough estimate. But you got to think like big, long-term numbers, um, but then the Rolo and time. My thing is time. The Rolo saves so much time. It's ridiculous. So that's why I love it. No electronics for you. You mean to sell? You must mean to sell. You don't have any Goodwills. Wow. Yeah, the Zebra is the same thing. It's a thermal. It's a thermal printer. Yep. I just love my Rolo. All right. How was the vintage market last weekend? It was pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, we're not, we're not seeing the traffic that we had when we were in the other location of the swap meet, which is a little disappointing. Um, the, the swap meet itself is not good at doing any sort of marketing or direction for their tenants. Uh, in fact, I talked to the the woman who manages the, the vintage market part. And because I suggested, well, can't you put like a, like a sign going right up the middle of the aisle or something, you know, pointing people back. And she says, we have to pay for that. Like, what? 
So yeah, so it was not as good as it could have been. Um, but we did okay. Thank you, Sally. All right. So should we get listing? Let's do it. I have a couple different items. Um, I, I had to figure out like how just how to do this on the fly because I haven't ever listed live before, like an actual like go live listing. So I'm like, oh, I need pictures, and I didn't have to. So I went and I quick and I took pictures, which is great because I can show you a feature that List Perfectly has now. Um, I'm gonna try to keep an eye on the chat, but I may miss a couple things. So I thought I would start with something that's really easy to look up, and then we're going to do something that's really hard to look up and, and find the pricing. Um, so I'm going to do this puzzle here. And I was a little torn whether I wanted to sell this puzzle, but yeah, I'm going to sell it. You can see it's a sealed puzzle, so I can list it as new. Um, and the great thing about things like this is all your information that you need to put into your listing is on the packaging. So love that. So let me share my screen and we will list a puzzle. There we go. All right. So I'm in list perfectly. I'm already signed into my account. So we go to, we can go to add listings. So it's up here, add listings. Now, I have not made a template yet, and I really should, I really should make a template. That would be the smart thing to do, and I will do that. Uh, I just haven't done it yet, but if you have a template, you have a drop, you can make multiple templates depending on what you're selling, so that is something I need to do. Uh, so I'm going to go here, and I am going to upload. Okay, I'm not going to do that one first. I'm going to do... See my thumbnail in there. Now I will confess I did grab these pictures off of the internet. And this is what's called a stock image. You are allowed to use stock images uh, in eBay if it is a brand new item. And this is a brand new item. So we're just going to put these two pictures right there. Now Here's another cool thing with List Perfectly. It can suggest a title for me. I've never used this, but I want to like show you all the stuff. So let's go. Let's go. Uh, suggest a title. Oh, after I put some product. Here. Okay. This is cool. So we have a cobble hill whoops, puzzle. All right, it's not suggesting. Maybe that's not working so good. I know what I got though. So what's important is you see I put the maker's name, maker's name, what it is. Now I'm going to add something specific to it, which is the title of this puzzle, Succulent Garden. Now some of you are probably thinking, why didn't you put how many pieces? Puzzle next. Because I think when people are searching for a puzzle, that's not the first thing on their mind. Also, that's going to be in the item specific. So it's still, if they do put that in their search, eBay is going to feed them the ones with the right things. I am still going to add it. It's just not going to be in those first phrasing. This is the most vocal this bird has ever been continuously. And I'm kind of thinking, what's going on here? What is it you need? What could I do for you? Because it's kind of time to like take a nap. Take a nap, Bougie. Yes, thank you. <laughs> All right, now I am going to put the thousand pieces. Actually, Hold on. Just making sure it doesn't say thousand plus or th I think we're good. All right. And I'm going to put sealed. 
because that is an important term when you're talking about a puzzle. So normally I wouldn't put that for a new item I was listing. It is because this is a puzzle. She wants a banana chip. Yeah. But I don't, that's an empty seed. Do I need to put some seed in your cup? If, will you be quiet if I do that? Will you be quiet if I do that? Okay, let's see if she does. Is it, is it getting too, you, is it getting too chattery for you guys? Is it too distracting? Let me know because I'll do something to quiet her down if it is. Okay, so this is all I'm going to put. It's all I'm going to put for the title. Uh, even though I have room, I have room to put, look, I've only used 51 of 140 characters. You don't want to use space for space sake. You want to just use the phrases and words that are most likely what your customer is going to put in the search. All right. So now here's, this is where the item specifics are going to generate from. So that's basically what this is here. It's multicolor. It is cardboard style features. I think this is where we can put thousand piece. Size or fit would not be. Don't I guess you know you can select unisex condition notes. It's new. Oops, here. We already know it's new. It's it's not new with tag. This one is new with box though. Um, pro description. So if you're using the pro plan. Um, this is where you can put more information, all that. We're not going to do that today. We're going to come down here. Now, this is information that's like on the back end. And this is what makes List Perfectly so awesome is that you can manage your inventory, not just list and cross post, but manage your inventory because this COGS, COGS, is your cost of goods. So here I can put in, I ended up paying like $4 a piece for the puzzles. And okay, we need to go over to eBay and see what we are going to. Succulent garden. So first you want to see how many are available. So we have four. I like to sort by highest price. Let me just keep, take a peek over here and make sure I'm not missing anything over in the chat. Uh, Mary, I never, ever, ever will put measurements in a title unless it is something that has a standard, like say a tablecloth. People do search for like that 60 inch or 90, you know, whatever it is but you don't want to clog your title with something like a measurement that a customer probably doesn't know. So that would be something you would put in your item specifics and your description, not your title. Um, and especially a puzzle, people are not going to be searching for the size of the puzzle in the title. So here we have four. Um, and again, I'm going to show you another thing here. So a lot of you guys automatically are doing, let me come back on here for a second. A lot of you are automatically doing the, um, the promoted listings. And let me show you why that's a bad idea. You should not do promoted listings for every listing that you have. As in this case, let me put that back on there. What you can see here is we only have four results. Four results. So somebody is paying to promote this one right here, it is right next to their actual listing. There's no point in doing that. And if a customer should happen to click this one and purchase from this one, guess what? Now you get to pay eBay more money when it was completely unnecessary. So it's important to watch how many of that item you're listing are listed to see if promoting the listing 
is going to have any influence on you showing up better in search. So be careful of that. How do I know that's promoted? Because it says sponsored right here. Sponsored. That's a promoted listing. It's the exact same listing as this one. Uh, now somebody's got this for 12 and everybody else has it for, it's going to be up in the, this one's going to be like 24 shipped, 28. So 18, 30. Now the thing is, this is also where it can be an advantage to break out and do calculated shipping versus free shipping. This is what it looks like. Somebody may look at this and this shipping is lower. So it ends up being cheaper than this one with free shipping. Because if you're going to do free shipping, you have to figure the worst case scenario on that shipping. Whereas somebody could be one state over from you. So that's not a great deal for them. But if you do calculated shipping, you've got a lower actual price of the item. And the shipping will vary depending on where they're at. Where do you download the, you know what? If, if anybody, I was going to say this at the end, if anybody's considering lists perfectly, I do have a link down in the description of this video. And if you, if you put in the code, the niche lady, you will get 30% off your first month to like get going and try it out and all of that. But, but I'm going to show you also why list perfectly is such a cool thing as we get going here. So for listed, now I want to go to solds. There are none sold. So we don't really have a good idea of actual value. Um, we can come down here and see what some other Cobble Hill puzzles have sold for. And it doesn't look so great, right? Well, part of this is manipulated, not part of this. This is manipulated by eBay. They want you to see the lower prices if it's not exactly the item. eBay is all about the selling of stuff because they're making their money. They are making their money on your subscription fees, your promoted listing fees. If you sell the item, of course, uh, your final value fees, they are all about selling it and they know cheaper generally sells. So they push the lower, they push the race to the bottom. And that is the problem with these big marketplaces like eBay, like Amazon. They don't see their sellers as individuals. They just see bottom line numbers and everything is bots. And so that's why I say you have to be careful how you are looking to the eBay recommended this and eBay recommended that. Okay. You don't have to be the cheapest price. You don't, you don't, you don't. <laughs> you know, you, you didn't know I had your niche in life. I don't know that I have your niche in life. <laughs> what does it mean by you don't say Holy moly, little bird. Um, what does it mean by relisting? Well, relisting would be you've already made the listing and the listing comes to the end of its cycle and then it relists or you relist. Sometimes there's auto relists that just happens on your good till canceled listings. But then there's listings. If you end it, then you can relist. Okay, let's go back to this. So I'm like, how do you come up with a price, Danny? Okay, well, let's figure that out. Um, let me go back to the ones that are, are available. So we've got it as high as, okay, that's from Canada. So we're going to kind of go with the pricing, you know, kind of in here. Now, the other thing I'll do, and now, you know, I will never do a Google search live. So let me just really quickly do this Google search. Because bad things can happen when you do a live Google search. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, so now I've done a Google search. I'm going to go to the shopping tab. I'm going to see what else is out there. Look, that's not the same one. But Amazon has a version for $12. See, that hurts. $13.99. 
So for me, this puzzle is probably not worth listing, but I'm going to go ahead and do it for the sake of uh, doing this. I'm a $20 and over lister, but I'm just going to put here, let's go with $14.99. Let's go $14.99. Um, you can put in different things here. I will, on this case, put the UPC because that can also be important if somebody is scanning the item to look, you know, for, for different matches. I want that to be in there. A quantity of one. All right, now we're going to get down to our shipping. We're not doing a variation. Okay, I don't have my scale up here. That's what I'm missing. So I'm just, I'm, I want you to have a scale next to you when you're listing. I mean, you need to know what these items weigh. Um, I'm going to tell you this weighs about not quite a pound and a half but I'm gonna call it I'm gonna call it 1.4 so now we got to add the box to it it's gonna be a two pound package so because your shipping goes in one pound increments so as long as you're in that range there I am shipping from this zip code uh, it's gonna go we're just gonna say it's gonna go in a 10 by 10 by 10 as long as you're not over the 12 by 12 by 12, you are good there. All right. This is for after the sale. I just want to show you this. This will populate once you've crossed. This is the reason to make the listing and list perfectly. Because if the listing is in the list perfect in your list perfectly catalog, you can bulk end the listing. Uh, you can only do that if all of these are filled in, which you could do manually, but that's a lot of work. You don't want to do that manually. I know I did buy one the other day. It's just, um, it's not upstairs because I'm really resisting having this be my eBay room. This is not actually my eBay room. This is my, this is my media room. <laughs> we'll call it eBay. It happens downstairs. All right. Um, you can put your own little notes here if you need to know something like, you know, where you're storing this, you know, what shelf it's on. Um, let's see. Am I ready to go live? I don't know. Let's see. Maybe. Let's see what happens. I am going to save it as a draft, though, just to be sure. So save and exit to catalog. All right. And where is it? Where is it? Okay, that's interesting. See, I'm always, this is my biggest fear. It's like everything works great until you go live. <laughs> Where's my, maybe it's because it's a draft. That's what it is. Hold on. Here we go. Yeah, I just figured it out. All right, so now I've got a draft. Oof, scared me for a minute. That was my bad. Now you see this little button right here? This is my cross post button. So now I want to select where it's going. So I'll put it on Poshmark, eBay. I can't put this on Etsy. It's not old enough. Um, so let's just go with those two on this one. And you hit the copy. And watch the magic happen. There we go. So it's first taking me to Poshmark, where everything's here that I typed in, right? Actually, I had uh, forgotten to write a description. I'm not going to worry about it right now, but I could have written that description over on List Perfectly. I totally spaced it. You got to pick a category. It's going to be home. It's going to be, I guess we'll put it under games, uh, puzzles. There we go. It's a single, select a size. It's one size. Um, does this item, we're going to say yes because it's a brand new item. You want to just make sure you got all that. I guess it's got like a pink in it. 
Um, I'm not going to add tags right now. Don't need to add original price. I'm going to do it for 15. It tells you your earnings. Boom, diddy, boom, diddy, boom. Next. Oops. It wants, oh, that's right. You have to put in an original price. I haven't listed on, on Poshmark for a while. So I think I can just put zero in there. All right. There it is. Listed on Poshmark. Done. Now, here it is, my eBay. So it opens a window for, for each thing it's trying to open. I know I didn't do the I know I didn't do the description. My bad. This is where you can add if you want to put the eBay custom label. Double check your category. See, I don't know why it's for me, it's pulling up a weird thing for um, my store category. I have to figure out why I have those as my go to but it added the UPC here it added the pictures for real you're an attention hog oh my goodness <laughs> so of course you got to get down here into all of the uh, all right this could be a problem you might find yourself not next to my desk anymore I don't know what the year is. I looked on the box. It wasn't there. The theme is flowers and plants, scarfboard. Um, it's over 12, so I'm going to check those two, and we're going to go with that. So even though I didn't write a description, I can do this. Um, finish size uh, is... Whoa, 26, boy, they're like precise, 625 inches by 19.25. There we go. <laughs> I'm feeling very self-conscious about the bird. <laughs> Not everybody loves birds, and not all uh, 225 people watching this are talking in the chat and telling me. Um, so I do worry about that. Just a little bit. All right. Instead of new with box, I'm going to say new inbox. And sealed. All right. Come down here. It's already pre-filled. I do best offer. I don't, I'm not going to fill these out right now. Did you guys know you can do that, though? Like, you can select anything that comes in, you know, $5 or less, auto-decline that. The I will go ahead and put that. There's only thing. 60-day return policy, folks. You know what? That is enough time for someone to make this puzzle and decide they don't want it anymore. It is. I hear the comments coming already. <clears throat> It's also enough time for them to forget about where they even bought it. It's also enough time for them to lose the urgency of needing to get it returned if they're going to return it. I will get way more views and potential sale because I have that generous return policy versus if I don't. So just keep that in mind. Um, I don't know. These are all wonky too. I'll tell you, this is what I select for my shipping choices here. Where is the, there we go. So those are the options that I give people. This just buys me that, you know, if it's going to zone eight away from me, it's going to show a longer delivery time. Um, you can offer local pickup also. I'll go ahead and check that. I don't mind because there are places people can, can meet with me. Actually, no, I'm not going to check that right now. This is a, me personally, I don't want to get the like sale and like, oh, can you meet me tomorrow at like four o'clock? Because I can't do that. Um, I use calculated. You can see right there. I am using here what I'm going to do here. I'm going to say none, but 
I have checked the sell with global shipping program. So if it can go through the global shipping program, that's how it'll go. Otherwise, it won't give anybody international the option. You done? It sounds like she's laughing at me. Um, let me real quick. I see a question. If you wanted to add a description to all of your listings, could you go back and edit your original draft and populate all of you? You can edit the listing and do all of that as long as you didn't push it out to the site. Once you've pushed it out to that site, it's on that site now. And all you can do is, is bulk end the listing. Are the defaults missing? And no, I just haven't changed them. It's been a long time since I've listed. I got to tell you guys. Remember, I had my store. Well, I just wasn't listing after I moved. And uh, and then I put everything on time away while I was going through all the stuff. So it's just been a long time since I've listed. I'm going to go ahead and save this as a draft because I will go back and I will add to that description so there it is there's my puzzle i just i'm gonna i will make it live i'm gonna be accountable i'm gonna make it live before i go to bed tonight before i go to bed tonight okay so we've got ebay and we got poshmark all listed let me go back to there we go one listing up. um Sorry, I'm just wondering if I need to take this out of draft mode or if it's out of draft mode now because I listed it. Yeah, okay, that's what it did. It took it, no, it still got it as draft and list perfectly, but yet I made it live in those sites. I have to look into that because I've never, never thought about it and done that before. <laughs> I barely have time to make my uh, videos get edited in like you want me to start a channel for bougie too <laughs> bougie can you do your own editing if you can do your own editing you can have a channel what do you think about that would you like that no okay okay so there's the first one so now we're gonna do an item that is a little harder to research if you don't know what it is uh, and I'm going to show you the process that I would use. See, I know what it is. So I'm going to try to like just clear that I know what it is and show you the process I would go through to list this beautiful item. Anybody, before I tell you what it is, um, I know a lot of you are already going to say the type of glass it is, but be more specific if you know what it is. There's a specific designer that this is from and i'm going to show those of you who don't know don't have any idea that's okay because i'm going to show you how you would find out if you had it because you bought it just because it was beautiful how would you know how would you know all right so yes it is murano now if you didn't know this was murano but you kind of had a good idea, that is still where you would start. If you think it's Murano, start with using the word Murano. Um, because if you just put in the colors and the stripes and that it's glass, you're going to get a whole bunch of stuff. But if you know and you're pretty sure it's Murano, go with Murano. He said, I love you. I've been trying to teach him I love you. I love you. All right. Uh, so here is a site. Oops, I guess I need to share my screen. Here is a site. Anybody who is doing art glass, especially vintage and antique art glass, you need to bookmark this site. It is called 20thCenturyGlass.com. 20thCenturyGlass.com. And let me show you why. So they have an encyclopedia. Boom. Under that encyclopedia, you have all these types of glass, Murano, em Empoli, is it Empoli or Empoli? That, 
uh, Scandinavian, British, Czech and Bohemian, Maltese, German and Austrian, Art Deco, Victorian, paperweights, other glass. Oh my gosh. So we're going to go to Murano. Now look, look at all these Murano designers. Ooh. Now, if you didn't have any idea who made this, you could just start going through and they're going to show you examples of that designer's work. And you may not find the exact item, but if you, you could pretty much be sure that if you found something with this color structure, you would have that designer's piece, right? So we're going to go back. I happen to know that this is a Barovier and Toso piece. <laughs> but um, if I didn't know that, and I'm browsing through this little catalog here, I would go, hey, hey, that's it. Um, now, some people would call this Zebrati, which is this one, but it is not Zebrati. Zebrati is very, very precise in the stripes. This is a Graffati. <laughs> graffati. Um, so right away, I and it's not the exact piece that I have, right? But it is the design. It's the technique. Um, so I know now that that's what I have. So I take that information over to my little friend eBay, and I'm going to look up Murano Graffati. I forgot how it was spelled already. Goodness. Graffati. Two Fs and one T. There we go. Um, did I still spell it wrong? I did, but they corrected it for me. Okay, we're good. I want to search by highest first, and then we're going to see what we got. See? All right. Anybody want to say eBay's not broken? Why is, why is eBay motor stuff coming up when I searched Murano Graffati? Please. Uh, there's only 26 results. That's just crazy to me. Like, that's not what I'm looking for, eBay. Not even close. But you can come over here and you can choose category. So there's only two pieces. So we know it's rare. Again, this would not be a piece to use um, promoted listings on. Now you're going, what do I do? There's no results. Oh! So again, I don't do Google searches that way. So let me just go do a little googly, a little googly. We might run a little over today. So Murano. Now you're like, but people don't know it's it's uh, graffiti. So what if somebody's not putting that into search? I'm gonna answer that when I'm doing the listing. But the thing you need to know is the true collector, the one who does know what that is and who will pay the bigger bucks. If you've got that word in there, it is going to make all the difference in the world. Don't list it, just sell it to you. <laughs> Ever since the update eBay did in October, the search is so, oh no, the search has been bad long before they, that update. Yeah, that made it a little worse. It, it's been bad for a couple of years. Wait, oh, I was? I wasn't on somebody else's store. Uh-uh. Nope. I'm in all. Nope. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Melissa. Uh, let me go here. So let me show you what came up when I did a Google search. And it's like it keeps wanting to, it wants to correct. I'm looking at here, Graffati. It's Graffati. And I'm going to trust this site to know what I'm looking for. So we're going to go with Graffati. We've got this one piece right here on Etsy for $309. Um, that's it. So this is rare. This is rare stuff. It's rare. 
It's really, really rare. Yes. So now the other thing that I would do, Zebrati is a little bit more uh, available. So I'm going to go look at the pricing on Zebrati. Did I? Yeah, I think I did that right. So we can go look here. You can see some some Zebrati, 125, 75. But the other thing I'm going to do is because I know Barovier and Toso. Go see what those prices. Oh, look. And so in my mind, I'm going, okay, look at what the rarer pieces of Barovier and Toso, if I'm saying that right, are going for. Because I'm gonna go, I'm gonna shoot for the moon kind of gal. Now these are lamps. And we don't have a lamp, so I'm getting down to, oh, here we go. We've got, ah, look at that. Um, Coronado de Oro is probably in the same rareness factor as this graffiti. Well, let's look a little more, a little more. Yeah, I like what I'm seeing. Okay, that tells me all I need to know uh, to justify my pricing. So I'm going to go back here. And I'm going to add a listing. I did take some pictures. Now I'm going to show you a really, really cool feature of list perfectly okay i don't like the order that i just uploaded these so let me move you up there and you down here and you over here you over here and you over here okay i like that better now if you have the pro plan of list perfectly it's um don't you need to go by the set? A little, yeah, a little bit. Um, but you're also looking at the rarity. Like, so a bowl is going to be more common than a lamp or a large vase. Also, the larger pieces obviously have more tendency to break over time. Uh, so that's why the prices go up on them. But you kind of look for, yeah, like a like, a like item. Okay. So this is the beautiful thing about the pro plan. Watch this because I didn't, I don't have my camera set up all done yet. I have to wing it. So I set this literally on top of my little space heater and uh, there we go. And now we're going to save it. Look at that guys. I can do that every single one of these one by one, but as of tomorrow, all right, you need to shush. <laughs> As of, all right, stand by. We will appease the bird. Oh, there you go. Go get it. Just threw some seed in there, hopefully. Oh, go get her busy. No, you just want attention. Um, as of tomorrow, they are releasing a bulk background remover. So literally, I could select all of these photos at the same time, and it will remove all the backgrounds at the same time. So I'm super excited about that. And, you know, you, it's not just about removing the background. If you want to do other things to the photo, you can see your choices there. Look at, you can rotate, you can flip. Uh, there's filter. I would be careful with filters, but you, tuning means that um, you can do brightness control. You know, you can select all this stuff, uh, contrast, all of that. But I, you can do that. I do believe you can do that without being in the pro version too. All right, that shy little bird that came home is not that shy little bird anymore. Doesn't even want to go eat right now. It's like, she thinks I'm talking to her. Him, her. We don't know yet. Oh, I'm over here um, removing backgrounds and wasn't even showing you. Boom, boom. I wasn't even showing you all that. I'm sorry. 
I know. I'm sorry, Becca. I'll show you on this one. What I was showing you is that here's your tuning. Uh, you can change the brightness. Blah, 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 blah. You got contrast that you can play with, all that stuff. You can crop, you can rotate, all that stuff. Go eat. Go eat. <laughs> all right, I think I got one more. It's not much background to remove on this one, but. And there we go. All right, my pictures are ready. So I'm going to come down here and then we're going to go into that title again. I'm going to go grow. Let me spell it right. Yay. And Toso. Ah, you know what? I'm going to go with the graffiti. Murano. Glass ashtray. Now, for those who may be searching, wow, um, get a parrot, they said. It'll be great, they said. It actually is, um, um, it's, it's photo. Oh gosh, somebody help me. They are they're actually integrated with um one of the companies that you can actually get the app and do this, but I can't think of the name of it right now. Uh Murano Glass Ashtray. But this is where then I will say gold, silver, striped. Because if somebody doesn't know it's Barovia and Toso, if somebody doesn't know it's Grafati, they're gonna put in gold, silver, striped glass ashtray right or bowl actually i'm going to put bowl in there too um let's see what they would have suggested they might need to work on this suggesting title thing because uh i'm not seeing it i'm not seeing it okay short description i'm going to call it i like to copy and paste my title back down here but then A venturine is what that silver is called. Striping measures. <laughs> photo room. Thank you, Melissa. It's photo room. It actually is photo room that they are integrated with. Measures six inch by six inch by by. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that bird. Mm, three inches tall. Magician, no damage. All right, so this is where we put Rovier and Orso. Color shade, we're going to call it gold. Uh, material is glass, style, features. Uh, we're going to call it inventory. Uh, you know what? I, I'm going to put this is where I'm going to put the graph. I keep thinking I'm spelling the graph. It's G R A. It's two F's. It's two F's, Danny. Spelling it wrong. Look at that. Check your spelling. Graffiti. Graffiti. Um, I'm going to put graffiti here. And you know, you got to fill in all the silly stuff. It is pre owned. It's where you put your condition notes. Excellent condition. I always put normal wear for age, free of any chips, cracks, or damage. Uh, we're going to say good condition. This keywords or tags, I believe, goes over into like Etsy. Let me just do that. We're going to put Murano glass. Um, sorry, guys. I am so sorry. 
literally this bird has never ever been this vocal ever been this vocal never i don't remember what my cost of goods was on this um i've had it for quite some time i got it at an auction but here this is where you go big or go home i'm gonna put it at 500 dollars. what's the worst that can happen it doesn't sell right shipping we are going to call this that's going to be a good four pound package so we'll go four pounds uh, it's going to be in a 12 by 12 by 12 and i put that because i want lots of cushion here uh, and that's it we're going to head we're going to let this one go live save and exit to catalog Thank you guys for you, you that like birds, but I am watching my viewer count go down just a little bit when she gets noisy. So not everyone appreciates. Okay, so now this this is living in my list perfectly catalog. I never have to worry about it being deleted. I never have to worry about, you know, eBay like taking it away and I can't find all that information I had before. It lives here until I delete it. And if you ever want to delete something, you just hit the little trash can over here. Um, and then I'm going to push it out to, yep, we can put this on Poshmark. We can put it on eBay. And this one we can put on Etsy. So that's what we're going to do right now. Wow. All right. First, it wants to go to Poshmark. Look at that. Look at those pictures. I love them. Got everything I need there. Categories, home again. Uh, this would be an accent decor. And just put one size. Remember, Poshmark is geared toward clothing. So if it's not a piece of clothing, you only need to put in one size. Uh, no, it does not. Uh, gold, blah, 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 blah. it's got, oh, see, it's got my tags in there. Um, original price, remember, I don't know. We're going to put zero. Um, oh, for a limited time, Poshmark is offering free shipping on items that are $500 or more. Who knew? Okay, next. And this this side. oh this is the thing um with poshmark you can see how i have it so i don't have facebook so i don't want it going to my facebook but it posts automatically to my pinterest twitter and tumblr so it gets out there <laughs> oh my gosh i did all that without showing my screen no because i can't go back and do it again oh my gosh i'm so sorry you guys Ah, I'm such a bonehead. I'm such a bonehead. Okay, you're going to get this warning with Poshmark um, about fragiles. I publish anyway. I package so well, I don't have to worry about it. So there's a listing. I am so sorry that I did not show you guys. Ah! Anyway, what I was showing you is, is they're offering the free shipping, which means that uh, Poshmark is covering the shipping. So, okay, well, I will show you the eBay and the Etsy with the screen share on. My bad. All right, everything's good. Okay, so this is where you got to double track. Yeah, that's not that's not the catalog we want. Uh, I mean, that's not the... Um, oh, I forgot eBay has uh, changed. Oh, gosh. eBay has changed their categories for glass. Oh. Oh. Okay, I haven't listed since they changed this. Is there no longer a Mur Murano glass category? My chat is like freezing up. I haven't seen a new comment for two minutes. Can somebody 
confirm that there is no longer, it's not, it's decorative. I guess we're gonna put it in ashtrays. Wow, well that could hurt the whole, uh, that could hurt the old searchability thing then. Too. Oh my gosh, they just wanna kill collectibles on eBay, don't they? I don't see art glass even as a choice. I don't even see art glass as a choice. Pottery and glass, decorative. Oh, here we go. Wow. That's crazy. eBay, what are you thinking? That's very that's very disconcerting. I'm I'm stunned. I'm literally, I don't even know what to say. That's the stupidest thing I think I've seen eBay ever do. That is, I, I, I will be saying something to the powers that be. Um, because I do talk to them. Okay, these are my store categories. Um, so I'm going to put that in my glass pottery, make sure that's off of there. Oh my goodness, eBay, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? Production type, it's hand blown, it's glass, production style, it's art glass. Color is not silver, color is gold. We'll call it mid-century, suitable for. Oh, really? Italy, origin. Murano is not even a choice in here. Put, see if it'll stick. Product line, this is gonna be where I'm gonna put the Rough body. There we go. Um, it's decorative. Oh my goodness. I haven't done this for a while, you guys. I am not filling all that. Goodness. 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 All right. I'm just, I'm not filling all that out. <laughs> I'm going to put my $500 in here. I don't know why that didn't pre-fill. That should have pre-filled. Should have pre-filled. Okay, now we're going to go down to, you know what, I'll probably leave the FedEx here. Home delivery. going to do it. And I am going to take off. See, these are settings I need to go change over in, um, oops, this is where I need to put them in over in eBay itself. All right, package is going to be, again, this should have pre-filled. I'm not sure why that didn't. This is going to be a five pound package. That's why I'm going with FedEx on this. And moment of truth, guys. There it goes. Yeah, all right. I'll have to talk to her about how she's feeling about it. There it is. It's up. And basically, if I go back to, so a lot of people ask, well, what if you sell it on one side? Oh, I got to show you the Etsy first. Wait a minute. So here's the Etsy. Pictures. Sometimes you're going to get the little warning thing that the picture is not good enough. You can still list. Like, just ignore it and keep going. Uh, who made it? Another company, what is it? A finished product. When was it made? 1950s. This item is vintage category. Um, I love that Etsy's a little more intuitive. Art glass and collectible glass. There we go. Primary color is gold, secondary color is silver. Blah, diddy, blah, diddy, blah, diddy, blah. It's all pre-filled by list perfectly. Boom, diddy, boom. 
Boom, diddy, boom. I'm going to go with calculated. Oh, I have to, uh, I have to fix that too. I definitely haven't listed on Etsy in a long time. No handling fee. Okay, I think we're good there. Oh, I know what I want. It's okay. It's the same cost. Uh, and it's going to show me if a buyer lives in Chicago, it's going to be $17.53 for shipping. They're going to be charged. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I think I got everything I need in there. And I'm going to hit publish. Cost 20 cents in the listing. That's good for three months, I believe, on Etsy. Okay, now I'll go back over. Now let's suppose I sold it on one of those sites. I would simply come into the listing, like, and I haven't done this yet, so let me just, oh yeah, this is where, in here, remember that place, let's see. Look at this. First, I want to show you. I was talking how it's going to be pre-filled in here. So if it sells, you can... No, nope, there's a way to do it in one swoop. That ain't it. Hold on. We're learning this together, guys. Learning it together. Where is... Stand by. I haven't done it yet. So there's a way to select it. Oh, it was in here. End listing. So you check which platforms you want to, un and then you just simply hit end listing, and it'll end it on those other platforms. Woo! There we go. There we go. All right. That is two listings done for me today, which I said I was going to get done <laughs> really i'm gonna do like this is what i tell everybody in my facebook group two listings a day doesn't sound like a lot right but it's it's better than no listings and if you're doing two listings a day you're getting into the algorithm that ebay likes to see the consistency and it's going to keep your listings boosted up i mean that's a big piece of the ebay algorithm is posting new listings. So I'm, I'm on here telling you guys, I'm down for two a day. I'm down for, and I'm not all set up. I don't have everything perfect. I don't have my, I don't have my photo area done. I don't even have, I don't have the skin. You know what I mean? So it's not about waiting until you have everything perfect. It is about deciding that I need to do this and just then doing it, just doing it. Um, so I am going to be doing two listings a day and I'm going to be cross posting them. Uh, the reason for the cross posting is different sites have different audiences. eBay, unfortunately, is losing a lot of the audience for these antiques and collectibles. They really are. I think Etsy's picking up some market share there. The reason I like Poshmark and putting the things there is while their audience may not super be into that stuff, but they put everything over onto Google shopping. So you'll see when people do a Google search, a lot of Poshmark shows up. And that's the reason that I push it to Poshmark. Not necessarily that it's going to sell on Poshmark, but it's going to take people to that Google search, like, because they, you saw I shared it to Pinterest. So if somebody finds it on Pinterest, it's going to pop it over to where it is for sale. Does list perfectly just list the pics in title in the other platforms? No, they, they put all the, I don't, I hope you saw that. They put everything that I gave them the information on. They, they put the description, they put the item specifics, they put the condition, they put, they're supposed to put the price. I don't know why that one, the price didn't, it didn't pop over into eBay. It popped over into, it could be because it was such a high price too, that eBay might 
like flag it, they want you to put it in again. Yeah. So we're going to do this, everybody, two a day. Who's with me? Tell me in the chat. If you're watching this on the replay, tell me in the comments. If you're with me on the two a day, two listings a day, even if you only put it on one platform. You do have to have the account with each platform in order to use List Perfectly. And you have to have a window open and be signed in. So that is the one thing you do, yeah, need to make sure everything's ready to go when you start cross posting. But the time savings, I, I'm telling you, I wouldn't be cross posting if I didn't have List Perfectly, which means every sale that I get from a site outside of my main listing site is because of List Perfectly and it pays for itself. It pays for itself. Still scared to start. You know nothing. You, you, you know more than nothing. Stop telling yourself you know nothing. You know we feed our brains that stuff. Don't, don't say that. Decide what you do know because you know something. Take the pieces you know and say, oh, I know how to do that. And I know how to do that. And I, I know how to weigh something. I know how to measure something. I know how to snap a picture, right? I think, I think what you're doing, Becca, is you're saying, I don't know how to do it exactly the right way. Because you, you know how to do it. You're watching. You just watched me do it. You can go back and watch this video at the end, stop and start, stop and start to know how to do it. I've done other videos that where I do a listing on eBay too. So it isn't that you don't know how to do it. It's that you're worried about not doing it right. And that stuff will clog your brain and stop you in your tracks every time. And you got to push through it. You got to push through it. There's really nothing horrible that's going to happen if you do something wrong. Wrong is all up here because there is no one way to do this. Yeah, you got to put in the, there's, there's best practices. There's better ways to do things than others, but there is no one way. So cut yourself some slack and say, I can do this. I can do this. I want you to put a big sign right in front of your desk where you're sitting down at the computer contemplating whether to start that reselling business or not. I want a big sign up there that says, I can do it. I can do it. Feed that to yourself every time you're sitting in front of that computer. Feed and make the channel in your brain that says, I can do it. And then you will feel like you can do it instead of telling yourself you can't. All right. There's my, and for anybody else out there who needs that, we keep ourselves from so much great stuff in this life because we convince ourselves that we won't do it good enough. Somebody else can do it better. Um, what if, 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 what if. So we just don't. So if you don't take the risk, you can never have the reward. Never, ever. So I'm going to tell you, go for it. Go for it. Do it. One listing. I challenge you, Becca. Have you made an account yet? Have you made the seller account? Let me know, Becca, if you made your seller account. Yes, and definitely join the Facebook group. Definitely join the Facebook group. I'm waiting for Becca to answer because I know I got this lag and she didn't hear. Has it even? Okay. That is my challenge to you today. Okay. You don't have to create a listing today. Becca and anybody else who hasn't taken that first step yet, go create your seller account. Just simply do that. Do that one piece. One piece. And so, because once you have that, now you've overcome a hurdle. You've got a win. And then you can go on to the next step. So I challenge you, Becca, 
just open the account. Just open the account. You don't need to open a store. You don't need to open a store yet. Yes, I'm a big advocate of a store, but don't see you're already overwhelming yourself. The but do I need but 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 nope. Just go start your seller account. Seller account is your user ID and putting in your information. Just do that piece. Just get that piece done. You can add a store later. I want to, if you're in such a freeze point that you're afraid to take the next steps, then take the little steps. You know, yeah, do I want you to have a store? Absolutely, but that's not the most important thing right now. The most important thing is just to get you going. Your computer just broke, Linda. Oh no. I was hesitating to resell for over a year. And I didn't get motivated to start something until I watched your channel. Thank you. Oh, you know how good that makes me feel. Like, that's why I do this. It's why I do this, you guys. Like, I am all about us having that freedom to make our own money, not count on, you know, whatever this crazy world is doing, uh, and enjoy and have fun with what we're doing. And, um, if I can inspire that for somebody, then I'm, I'm going to keep doing it because <laughs> that's what I love. Ah, you almost make me cry. That's so awesome. Yeah, Bougie's, yeah, you watch. Bougie's going to get really quiet when I'm done here. Yeah. Do you need a YouTube name too? You don't need a YouTube to, to sell. No. Anybody who's commenting in that chat, by the way, you know you have a YouTube channel, right? That is your YouTube channel. Because you've already, because it's attached to your Google account. That's where the name comes from. So you already have a YouTube channel. I love that too. I started selling on Poshmark two years ago with things I have at home. The first month paid for my Rolo printer and laptop. Yes. That's what I say. You just. You just got to get going. If we decide on a store, how do you, how do you think to pick a name? It depends. Are you doing it as a hobby? If you're doing it as a business, if you're doing it as a business, you would sit down and think about what your business name is going to be like any other business that you would start. If you're just hobby selling, you can go with something cute, something fun, something, you know, it's easy to tell people what your store is. Um, but it's something like, I wish, I wish, I wish you'd be quiet. Um, I named my store, obviously, years and years ago, and it, it made sense at the time. And it doesn't really make sense now, but I can't change it because I have too much attached to it. Um, but yeah, just give it some thought. Just give it some thought. And remember... A store name is not the same as your user ID. Nobody really looks for you with your user ID. That's the thing with the store. The store gives you that name that you can tell people, this is my store, go find me. You can put it on business cards and blah, blah, blah. Do I need a separate bank account from my personal account to start out? If you are doing this as a business, yes, I highly, highly recommend you separate the money just for tax purposes. It is going to make your life so much easier. Yep. I thought about who I am, what I want to sell, and what kind of vibe to reflect. Yes, absolutely. I get that question a lot, Andrea. This is from one of my friends over on Facebook watching. Have you ever thought about putting a GoPro on instead of holding your cell phone? Um, yes, but so the GoPro gives a little bit of a distorted view. GoPros were designed for action. They were designed for sports and like stuff where you're not looking at stuff close up. GoPros are for like the wide image, which doesn't work really well for me showing you, you know, the thing that's like right in front of me. It is also very, very difficult to keep other people out of the line of the camera on a GoPro. 
So, and that's something I try to be very respectful of because most people do not want to show up on a video. They don't. Um, even though when you're in a public place, there's no, there's no, um, like supposition of private. That's not the word I was looking for, but you know, it's, it's known that you can be on camera, but I'm still very, very respectful. It's why I never catch these crazy moments on video because I'm not putting people on video. Uh, but yeah, so the GoPro, it doesn't, it doesn't really work for, for what I do. Let's see. Can't get motivated to list. You got to find something that motivates you. You've got, if it's important, if it's important, you will find the motivation. If it's not that important, then you won't. We can find a reason not to do whatever we want to find a reason not to do. I'm really good at that. You'll be reader goof because that's your buyer's name. That's your user ID. Yeah, so your user ID stays the same. So if you've already got an eBay account, you just go up into the like selling seller portion and just fill in your seller information. You are the reason my mother and I have opened an eBay store. I'm hoping she's finally going to retire at 79 now that she's found something else she's interested in. Yay! I keep me posted. Keep me posted. That it was my that was that's how I got started doing this publicly and helping others was in helping my own mother get out of a really crappy job because she needed the money to supplement her social security. She was afraid not to have extra income coming in and so I taught her how to sell on eBay yeah that's how it that's how it all began you have several hundred pieces of milk glass mostly pieces from 60s and 70s some older how do you suggest selling it through an auctioneer or eBay uh, even pricing it seems daunting yeah Tammy that's a big that's a big question uh, it depends like eBay is a lot of work it just is and you got to know that going in that eBay is work. So if it's not something you see yourself doing long term, find another reseller or send it through an auction. If it's just about, you know, getting it sold. Yeah. Otherwise, you got to go piece by piece and do your research. Kathy says, there we go. Listen, newbies, if I learned how anyone can, I started barely knowing anything about using a computer. Yes, exactly. My mother was the same way. You can do it. Don't let this. It's that we get so overwhelmed thinking we need to know it all like right off the bat. And then we just stop ourselves. Yep. All right. I am way over today, aren't I? Oh, there's my mom. And that was eight years ago. And she's still selling, but only on Etsy. Yeah. It's mostly her. Now she's like fine tuned it down to her handmade crocheted craft supply stuff. Yep. Yep. Are you selling in YouTube? I'm not sure what you mean, Mary. Or if you're talking to me or someone else. I do my live sales on Friday. So it is one of the venues that I use to sell stuff. Okay. I hope this was helpful, you guys. I really wanted to give you the List Perfectly demo because I talk so much about it. And um, I just think it is like the best thing since sliced bread. Because um, like I said, I wouldn't be cross posting to other sites without it because I just don't have time. So the time that it gives me back is tremendous and it literally pays for itself because if you list on those other sites, you're going to get some sales and it's not a sale that's taken away from eBay because it's a different clientele and it's a different way for people to find you and list perfectly makes it as easy as they possibly can to manage your inventory and you, and like I said, you put your cost of goods, you've got some, you've got some um, reports and things that you can pull there, you know, for managing your inventory. So I am just a big fan of List Perfectly. The women behind it are simply amazing. They are resellers like you and me. That's how they came about creating this. They designed it for themselves. And then they got so many people saying, can I use it? Can I use it? Can I use it? 
to where it's like, boom. And so they still, they get it. They get what we need. Um, they're constantly doing improvements, constantly doing improvements. So with that, as I said before, if you want to dip your toe into the list perfectly water, go down into the description of this video or any of my videos and you will find the link to list perfectly and use the code the niche lady and you will get 30 percent off your first month so that you can check it out and try it out without too big of an investment it's not a big i shouldn't even say that because it's not a huge investment to begin with there's different levels you have to go check out see which one works for you different levels give you different information carried over and like i do the pro because you've got the background remover you've got all the bulks oh did i tell you guys i did tell you guys that the bulk background remover tool is coming out tomorrow um but it's, it's just tremendous so check it out and with that i'm going to sign off <laughs> go be profitable and make it fun and we will see you on the next one bye everyone Say goodbye, Bougie.